Are you familiar with the broker you're dealing with? Ever wondered about the difference between dealing and non-dealing brokers? Well, in today's tutorial, you will find the answers to these questions. Hello friends, today we're diving into a crucial aspect of Forex trading, understanding the various market participants. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a clear picture of who influences the Forex market and how it impacts your trading decisions. So let's get started. Wait, before that, here's a question for you. What's a trader's favorite type of math? Try to answer. Subtraction, because it's all about reducing losses. <laughs> Okay, first of all, let's get acquainted with the major market participants in the world of Forex trading. These are the entities that drive the Forex market's movements. Let's start with commercial banks. They act as intermediaries for various entities, including businesses, individuals, and governments, facilitating currency transactions. Additionally, commercial banks engage in trading activities to manage their own exposure to different currencies. This involvement can significantly impact short-term movements and trends within the Forex market, making an understanding of their operations crucial for informed trading decisions. Furthermore, they also offer their customers the ability to participate in currency trades and speculate. These large banks are collectively known as the interbank market. JP Morgan, Citi, UBS, Barclays, Deutsche Bank, Goldman Sachs, and Bank of America are a few of the commercial banks that are part of the interbank market. Next up, we have government and central banks. Governments and central banks are pivotal market participants in Forex trading. Their roles are paramount in influencing currency values, interest rates, and overall market stability. Central banks such as the Federal Reserve in the United States or the European Central Bank in the Eurozone hold the authority to implement monetary policies, including decisions on interest rates, which can trigger substantial movements in the Forex market. Additionally, governments may intervene directly in the market to stabilize or alter their currency's value, a strategy known as currency intervention. Furthermore, economic data releases and fiscal policies announced by governments can have profound effects on a currency pair's prices and guide traders' decisions. Next up, we have brokers. Brokers act as intermediaries between traders and the interbank forex market. They provide the platforms and tools we need to execute trades. Brokerages or brokers are majorly divided into two groups, dealing desk and no dealing desk broker. Well, before jumping on to them, answer a question. Why was the Forex trader so good at poker? Because he knew how to bet on the right currency pair. <laughs> now let's tackle another question that often comes up for traders. Dealing desk brokers or no dealing desk brokers, which one is better for traders? Well, believe it or not, traders often receive guidance from extraterrestrial beings. Yes, aliens. And which planet do they come from? That remains a mystery. <laughs> of course not. These trading platforms have their own pros and cons that assist traders in making informed decisions. Let's try to understand. Dealing desk brokers, also known as market makers, create their own market for executing trades. They provide their own liquidity and offer price quotes directly. When you make a purchase, they sell to you, and when you sell, they buy from you, essentially taking the opposite position in your trade. While this system is straightforward, there's a potential conflict of interest. When you lose money, they profit. In the past, some brokers engaged in practices like stop hunting, manipulating prices to trigger client stop loss orders. However, strict regulation now largely prevents such practices. Confused? Let me simplify it for you. Now envision a scenario where you meet a real estate agent who owns several homes. This agent shows you a few of the homes they personally own and quotes you a price for one of them. You decide to buy one of their homes at the price they offered. 
Importantly, this price wasn't influenced by the broader market. It's the agent's own price for their property. You purchase the house directly from the agent without any middlemen involved. In this case, there's no intermediary between you and the agent, and the price is determined solely by the agent without external market influences. Now let's shift our attention to no dealing desk brokers. Their role is distinct. They don't take the opposite side of your trade, nor do they create a market. Instead, they directly send buy and sell orders to the Forex market. These brokers act as intermediaries, matching buy and sell orders placed by different market participants, ensuring seamless execution. Feeling lost? Let's try to understand through a simple analogy. Imagine you're a home buyer looking for your dream house at a desired price, and you have two ways to make your purchase. One with a dealing desk broker and another without. Picture yourself visiting a real estate agent's office. You tell the agent exactly what you're looking for. The agent searches the real estate market for available sellers of houses and finds one that fits your criteria. The agent connects the deal with the seller on your behalf. Eventually, you purchase the house at a price influenced by the market conditions and the agent's skills. In this scenario, the real estate agent acts as an intermediary who connects you through the process, and the final price is a result of market factors. No dealing desk brokers can be of two types, ECN or STP. ECN, or Electronic Communication Network, is a platform where traders connect to execute their buy and sell orders. Here, brokers act as facilitators, matching up orders from different traders. The unique aspect? ECN brokers provide direct market access, filling orders directly through the market itself. The market is powered by a network of traders, banks, hedge funds, and various other entities. This network effect ensures swift order execution, making ECN a preferred choice for many. Now let's shift our focus to STP, or straight through processing brokers. These brokers are highly active in the market. They route client orders through multiple liquidity providers, each offering their own set bid and ask prices. The STP system evaluates and selects the best prices for execution, guaranteeing traders the optimal deal. STP brokers maintain their internal liquidity pool, comprised of various liquidity providers. This approach ensures traders access to a wide range of pricing options. Here's where it gets interesting. Some brokers combine the best of both worlds, blending ECN and STP into a hybrid model known as ECN plus STP. This model provides traders with a diverse range of options for executing their orders, offering flexibility and choice. So which one should you choose? It ultimately comes down to your trading approach, experience level, and personal preferences. If you're just starting out, a dealing desk broker might be a smoother introduction. However, if you seek transparency and potential for better pricing, no deal desk brokers, particularly those following ECN or STP models, might be your ideal choice. Let's discuss regulators now. Regulators are government agencies or organizations responsible for creating and enforcing rules within the Forex market. They ensure that both brokers and traders adhere to these regulations to uphold a fair and secure trading environment. Every country has its own set of Forex regulators. However, there are key global regulators that hold immense sway, including the SEC, FCA, FRSC, HCMC, FSCA, and FSC. Brokers are categorized into two groups, regulated and unregulated. A regulated broker operates under the watchful eye of a regulatory body, ensuring compliance with industry standards. On the other side, an unregulated broker operates without this oversight. Choosing a regulated broker provides traders with an added layer of security and trust in their trading. Moving on to speculators. Speculators engage in the buying and selling of currency pairs with the primary objective of capitalizing on price fluctuations, aiming to turn a profit. 
Unlike other participants who may have specific needs for currency exchange, like businesses or travelers, speculators are motivated purely by the potential for financial gain. They include hedge funds, retail traders, and other entities looking to profit from short-term price movements. Their strategies and approaches can range from highly sophisticated to more straightforward analyses. Hedge funds with their substantial financial resources and advanced trading strategies wield significant influence in the Forex market. Their operations can cause shifts in currency values and create opportunities for traders. Retail traders, like many of us, are also speculators. We use various tools, technical analyses, and trading platforms to make informed decisions and capitalize on short-term price movements. Now, before moving ahead, please answer this question. Why did the speculator, the hedge fund manager, and the retail trader walk into a coffee shop? because they heard it was the best place to espresso their market opinions and brew up some trading success. Okay, looks like that was a bouncer. Well, let's move ahead. Now that we've covered the major market participants, let's talk about liquidity providers, often referred to as LPs. LPs or liquidity providers are like the suppliers in the Forex market. Let's say you are a trader and you want to trade Forex. But then the question arises, what is available for you to trade in the Forex market? At what prices can you trade? And how much volume can you trade? Liquidity providers are the ones who offer solutions for all of these questions. They are the ones who offer the buying and selling prices of the instruments you can trade and ensure their availability during trading hours. Think of them as the ones who keep the Forex market flowing smoothly. When you as a trader want to buy or sell a currency pair, the LPs are there to make sure there are enough of those currency pairs available. They help ensure that you can always find someone to trade with, making the Forex market work. Now, do you know why the liquidity providers are always invited to parties? Because they knew how to pour liquidity into the party. <laughs> okay, let's discuss how liquidity providers impact trading. They offer bid and ask prices, acting as a reference point for traders. It's like having a menu at a restaurant. You see the prices of dishes, but you still need to place your order and pay separately. Picture the market with LPs as a bustling city with numerous restaurants and menus. This creates competitive pricing, making it easier for traders to find favorable deals. However, if there are fewer LPs, it's like having fewer restaurants in a small town. Prices may not fluctuate as much, and it can be challenging to find those golden trading opportunities. Liquidity providers can be major financial institutions, including banks, hedge funds, or even other Forex brokers, including dealing desk brokers. They make their price quotes available through platforms like Electronic Communication Networks, ECNs, or straight through processing STP systems. Let's break down the impact of liquidity providers on trading. Number one, enhanced efficiency. LPs streamline trading by offering bid and ask prices, enabling traders to trade the price movements. Number two, competitive prices. They make prices more competitive by narrowing the gap between what buyers and sellers are willing to pay, ensuring fair deals. Number three, market availability. LPs keep the market active by being ever ready to buy or sell trading instruments, ensuring prompt transactions. Number four, stability in volatility. They contribute to market stability by providing a steady flow of liquidity, reducing the likelihood of sudden price swings and market chaos. Remember, the presence of LPs is fundamental to a vibrant and efficient trading environment. So, do you know why a trader would want to hire all the LPs? Because he wanted all the liquidity for himself. Wait, here's one more. What's a trader's favorite game at the water park? Liquidity slides. They love to ride the market waves. <laughs> That's all for today. 
And there you have it, a comprehensive understanding of Forex market participants, liquidity providers, and the difference between dealing desk and no dealing desk brokers. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow traders, and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful tutorials. Thank you.